What's up you guys? Today we are going to go over some foods that will help you add some quality lean mass on a bulk because these foods are high protein and high calorie. Now before we get into the video, our new apparel is here and we have been promising you guys for so long and Mike and I are so excited to tell you that these shirts will be available for sale starting Monday. So in order to be the first to know when these shirts are going to be available for purchase, make sure you head over to anabolicaliens.com and on the homepage, What's going to pop up is you're going to be asked to sign up for our mailing list. So when that screen pops up, make sure you enter your email and we're going to send out the emails when the link is up and official. So with all that said, guys, let's get into this video. Let's start off this video by saying that you need to be in a caloric surplus in order to gain weight or mass. For some people, adding these additional calories can be a process due to a variety of different interfering factors. Now, these factors could be anything from budget problems, getting full too quickly, or maybe we are just too picky of eaters. A lot of people have that problem. And there are a million reasons and excuses we have that may interfere with us gaining weight, so we need to combat this as much as possible. The major way that we fight against this issue is to consume higher calorie foods. And for the sake of this video, we are going to be consuming high protein and high calorie food. Now, let's get into these foods. First up on the list is red meats. Now, we all know that by now that animal meat is loaded with protein. So when you are shopping at the market for groceries, you will notice that in the meat section, there are a variety of different types of red meats with varying percentages of fat. Now, obviously, the fatter the meat, the more calories it is going to contain. So if your goal is to consume more calories to gain mass, then this will obviously help. Now, this does not only apply to lean meats though. Fattier fish like salmon can also be slightly higher in calories and can help build some quality mass. And there are always positives and negatives to consuming these types of foods. There is some research linking excessive consumption of fat red meats to cancer and heart disease, which can always be some sort of a drawback. Now, on the other hand, while the fat in salmon is mostly omega-3 fatty acids, it can still be high in mercury levels, which is toxic to the body in high amounts. So these foods should be eaten in moderation. Also, when choosing which food to add to your basket in the store, opt for the organic grass-fed beef if you can't afford it, and opt for the wild salmon if you can afford it, or stand the fish to your taste. So these foods are great for getting that protein and your calories in. Second on the list is nut butter. Some common nut butters are peanut butter, almond butter, sunflower seed butter, and there are plenty more. The great part about these foods is that they are loaded with healthy fats and protein, which make them calorie dense foods that are also delicious. Another great part about nut butters is that they are very easy to combine with other foods in order to consume more calories. Now, it is extremely easy to add peanut butter to bread to make a sandwich, add sun butter to a banana for extra flavor, or drop a plop almond butter into your protein shake in order to add more healthy calories. So these nut butters will help you satisfy your sweet tooth cravings. They contain a bunch of fiber and are loaded with some healthy fat soluble vitamins, which will help us become healthier overall. Now, like most high calorie foods, we should keep them in moderation. Also, when choosing these nut butters, opt for the most natural and organic forms in the grocery store. And make sure you take a look at the back of the jar at the ingredients label to avoid any hydrogenated fats or oils. Also, if sodium is a concern of yours, opt for a lower salt or a low sodium option, then indulge in some delicious nut butters. Third on the list is dairy. Dairy has been getting a bad rap lately because of the new alternative milk trend. And while it is not necessary in the diet, it can help you add some protein and it should be considered if you do not have any pre-existing lactose intolerance issues or milk allergy. The dairy food group consists of animal milk, cheese, and yogurt as far as protein goals are concerned. Just like our red meats discussed earlier, we can purchase dairy with either a high, medium, or low fat content. So if your goal is to add as many calories to the diet as possible, obviously a higher fat option will serve you well, such as a whole milk, a full fat cheese, or a full fat yogurt. Now some of my favorite options are a fattier milk of your choice, cottage cheese, and Greek yogurt. These foods contain a good amount of protein, some carbohydrate content, and fat content. You can add milk to a protein shake with your protein powder of choice. You can add cheese to about just anything like sandwiches, salads, and meat. And you can always bring some yogurt along to snack throughout the day. 
With the Dairy Food Group, try to get your dairy in the most organic and natural form possible. And like all these foods, make sure you keep them in moderation. Next up on the list is tofu. Now this is especially great for people who are vegetarian or vegan because we never forget about you guys on this channel. And although I'm sure if you are vegetarian or vegan, you probably already understand the power of this food, but we can still spread awareness for those who do not already know. Tofu was created from soybean curds and is a plant-based protein. Now this plant-based protein also contains a decent amount of fat, which makes it a solid option for people looking to add some high protein and higher calorie options. Now tofu is an incredibly flexible food, meaning that you can eat it with a bunch of different things. Increased consumption of this food has been linked to many different health benefits too. And there can be some drawbacks to consuming too many soy products, but a lot of this information is still up for debate and it relates more to the higher processed versions of soy. So when you're shopping for soy products like tofu, make sure you go for the minimally processed and most natural versions of soy then you can enjoy it. Finally, last on the list are protein shakes. Now this one is obviously not necessary, but it can be an incredibly useful tool if you use it correctly. And at this stage of the fitness game, most of us have some sort of protein powder laying around the house. This will serve as the foundation for the shake. Now you can choose to substitute whey protein for other types of protein, such as vegetable protein, egg protein, casein protein, or rice protein, etc. If you are looking to add a ton of calories to a shake, you can opt to use a weight gainer or a mass gainer instead of the protein powder. Then you can add either water or a no calorie liquid or add milk, milk alternatives or juice for some extra calories. Now, if you have a blender or mixer, you can add fruits and vegetables for extra carbohydrate and micronutrient content. You can add nut butters for extra protein and fat content. You can add yogurt for extra protein, fat, or carbohydrate content. And you can also combine some superfood ingredients such as raw cacao for added health benefits. My point is that these shakes are easy to make, convenient to consume, and can be very healthy if you make them correctly. You can also control exactly how caloric you want them to be. And also if you have a hard time eating enough calories throughout the day, it is obviously much easier to drink them. So if this sounds like you, make sure you add a shake at some point throughout the day. So I hope you guys like this video. And if you like the video, make sure you click the thumbs up button to show your support and make sure you leave a comment down below with your bulking secrets because we all want to know them on this channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, you better click that notification bell. That way you never miss a new video upload. Again, guys, apparel drops tomorrow, Monday. So make sure you go to anabolicaliens.com, sign up for that email list. That way you can get notified when that link is available. You can go there and purchase some sweet anabolic aliens apparel. This is a flash sale, guys. Get there fast because the sale will not last. These things are awesome and you'll be very happy with what you get. So that is it guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace.